So let's have a look how to add a plugin for Anki in order to connect VS Code and Anki together. The first thing we need is a plugin that basically is going to allow us to connect Anki with VS Code through HTTP. Not only Anki, it actually works for many different extensions and it's called Anki Connect. You can find it on the extension page of Anki and is one of the most popular add-ons. So we copy the number from Anki Connect and we add the code inside this window. Click OK and we let Anki to install the plugin. The next item that I'm going to add is called the Review Hitmap and it's basically the most popular add-on in Anki. It's going to give us a hitmap exactly like the one that you see in GitHub. So this is what it's going to look like. As before, you just have to scroll the page at the bottom to find uh, the number of the extension. Uh, you just copy it and uh, paste it into, uh, into Anki. There you go, that is the code that we are interested in. Let's go back, click on the Get Addons uh, button and we click Paste and then OK. It's going to install it. And now what we do, we close this window and we reload uh, Anki, we basically open and close it. So let's open Anki back. And now as you can see, we are gonna see Anki with our uh, strake, exactly like the GitHub card that you might be accustomed to. All right, now it's time to move to VS Code. In VS Code, we have, I just prepared uh, a markdown file where the title an h2 a2 and a block of code now i can click send to deck and this is gonna populate anki with a notes card the notes card is the default one for vs code uh, which we can personalize i'm gonna see how just in a minute in the extension panel of vs code let's select anki for vs code and then click on extension settings scroll down until you find the section that calls about the deck number. So you can see uh, there are several options that you can actually personalize. And the default deck is notes. Now you can send it to, to any deck you like, for example, programming, algorithms, um, code, whatever you like. In my case, the default is called English and that's what the value uh, that I'm going to, to set is going to be because I basically like to have just one um, deck for everything. It's less distracting. Otherwise, every time that you open or finish a deck, you have to look at a different one. I just put everything into one and uh, that's it for me. Now you can uh, send those cards, but also you can uh, use clothes cards. And uh, here I'm going to see how I create a clothes card. It's basically the title and then we put the special uh, syntax which is a double curly bracket then a C double colon and then the contents of the clause we can mark them with C1 C2 uh, to hide different parts of the of the question if you don't know what is a clause uh, leave a comment below I can uh, try to explain by making a second video here I'm actually making a mistake because C2 needs a double colon and then in C3, I'm gonna put something else. And now we go the, we're gonna do the same thing as before. I'm going to send a card to Anki. So the, it's Command Shift P for uh, Mac. And I'm gonna do Send to Deck. And now that the deck has been sent to Anki, I can actually go into the decks and I can see that the English has three new cards. If I'm gonna study now, I'm gonna see the close. I can review, it's gonna sequentially create new cards for each clause I create, in this case three. But now, since I'm not interested, I'm gonna go and delete the card that I've just created. That's all. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please leave a thumbs up and see you next time. Bye bye.